Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Tea with Pastor B. I hope you guys are doing well today. It's been a long time since I've made one of these videos. And so I thought, hey, you know, I've got a little bit of downtime this week with uh, what's going on in my life. So I thought, hey, I might as well make a video, a Tea with Pastor B video to let you guys know how things are going for the Wolverton family this week. As many of you know, um, all four of us tested positive uh, this week for the Omicron variant of the coronavirus. And so uh, it's been a it's been a different kind of week for us. You know, we've been locked down, uh, quarantining at home. Uh, the kids, you would never know they had the virus. They have their same amount of energy, their same amount of excitement and their same amount of playtime. Like it's just it's like nothing happened for them. It doesn't phase them a bit. They tested positive first, and then Jennifer and I tested positive later in the week, even though uh, we are the ones that had the symptoms. So uh, the beginning of the week was a little uh, more rough for me. Uh, started out with some chills on Monday, some fatigue, a headache, some fever coming in, and then um, Tuesday morning, just completely in bed, couldn't move that much, just really tired, achy, and a lot of congestion, coughing at night. And uh, Wednesday, things started to get better for me. And as the days have gone by, I've gotten better and better each day. Still got a little bit of a cough um, at night, but not as much anymore. And then just a little bit of congestion, you know, like waking up in the mornings. But uh, overall, I, I feel pretty good. I feel like I'm on the up and up. Jennifer, uh, she's had a bit of a rough time later in the week. So Wednesday was her worst day. Uh, yesterday a little bit a little bit better for her and uh, today a little bit better as well so uh, she's still kind of coming out of it but uh, overall we're doing great we're doing just fine uh, we are so thankful for everyone who has reached out to us we've had so many emails and text messages uh, a few phone calls just people letting us know that uh, they are praying for us people that have offered to bring food by although James uh, did offer to bring food but he told me he would not wait in the 45 minute line at Chick-fil-A. So uh, I don't know how to feel about that one. But uh, we are so grateful for everyone in our church family who have, um, have expressed um, some sincere um, um, prayers and, and things like that. So totally, totally grateful. And we're doing well. So we hope to be back at it uh, sometime next week. Uh, we're going to you know, keep testing you know, to make sure that the kids aren't positive anymore, make sure that we're not positive before we all start going back to school and work. But uh, overall, we're doing fine. So I just wanted to uh, give you guys just a quick update on us. Uh, everything is, is going well. We're still living and breathing and standing. Um, we are so thankful that we had the vaccinations because we feel like you know, had we not, you know, things could have been worse or the symptoms may not have been as mild. So uh, thankful for that. Just want to encourage you to continue to uh, get vaccinated and boosted if you haven't already. Continue to wear your masks, your KN95 or N95 masks, whatever you have, uh, to protect yourself in public because this is a very, very contagious strand of the virus. Omicron is no joke. And so um, just want to uh, encourage you with those words, but we're doing great. God has been good and uh, we're so thankful to um, to continue to, to be here. So um, we, we miss you guys. We miss our church family. Um, so far, I haven't heard any bad things from anyone else who was at church this past Sunday. So thankfully, no one else has been infected uh, that we know of. And so we're very grateful for that. And uh, just, you know, for the next two Sundays, we're going to take it easy. We're going to uh, go back to uh, online services for the next two Sundays just to... Um, you know, keep everyone safe uh, during this time. And, you know, hopefully by the end of this month, we will be out of the woods uh, with Omicron. And I know they, they said that some of the uh, local counties uh, here in California are starting to see 
um, trends that the numbers might be peaking, that we might be on the uh, up and up uh, with this Omicron variant before long. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks, we will be able to gather again, hopefully the first Sunday in February, gather again in person so we can continue uh, doing life together and being with our church family when we worship. But hey, just because church is going to be online this Sunday, I want to encourage you, still plan on attending. Still wake up, throw your clothes on. Maybe maybe you just want to hang out in your PJs. That's fine. But um, spend that time with your family on the couch, in the living room. Um, pull your phone out, your tablet, your computer, and uh, watch service with us. If you have a smart TV, go to the YouTube app and watch it on YouTube. But the service will be uh, broadcast via live stream. It will be on Facebook Live and YouTube Live. And uh, it will be a great opportunity for you and your family just to worship together at home. And I, w- I want to encourage you, just take that time on these, these next couple of Sunday mornings to do so. And just um, be reflective about that and be purposeful about that. Be intentional about that. And so I, I want to encourage you in that. Also want to encourage you, uh, we are still planning to start Wednesday nights back up in February. So February the 2nd will be the uh, first Wednesday uh, in our new Soul Care uh, series that we're going to be doing. And we're going to be going to a book called God and My Everything. God and My Everything is a book written by a pastor in Vancouver. His name is Ken Shigematsu. Got a picture of him uh, right there on the back of the book. Uh, fantastic preacher, fantastic man of God. He went on a sabbatical to Ireland several years ago and um, came up with this whole new routine for spiritual formation in his own life and ended up writing a book about it, sharing it with his own church. And so um, just a lot of great resources. But basically he talks about our lives being like a trellis and how we can uh, build a foundation of prayer, a foundation in our relationship with God to be the trellis that supports the good fruit that we exhibit in our lives as we interact with others, as we spread the gospel, as we uh, live to be better versions of ourselves, uh, as we live to be who God's created us to be. So many great things going on with that. So I want to encourage you, sign up for it. Uh, There is a link to sign up for it. You'll see that in the email that I send out on Saturday that has the links for the service. I want to encourage you, um, join uh, us on Wednesday nights. It'll be for an hour and 15 minutes, and then you will break off from there to, to, you know, spend some personal time with God in prayer or journal writing or whatever activity uh, we give you that evening. But Uh, It'll be a a great opportunity to grow. So I encourage you to be a part of that. I hope you're doing well. Please uh, continue to email me. Let me know how I can pray for you, how uh, life is going for you. Uh, I want to keep in contact uh, with you over these next couple of weeks as best I can. And I will keep making Tea with Pastor B videos. Like I said, it's been a long time. If you weren't with us during the pandemic um, or the beginning of the pandemic, uh, I made these videos every week. Every week there was a new video that came out. Uh, Tea with Pastor B. And I think we made over 52, 53 of those episodes. And you can go back and, and watch all of them on YouTube if you want. They're all there. But um, yeah, I just want to um, keep you guys updated and, and let you guys know how the family's doing. Uh, we'll, we'll try to make another video next week so you can have another update from us. But I want to continue doing these tea videos because it's a great opportunity just to connect and let you know how things are going and um, and let you know that I'm still thinking of you guys, still praying for you, and I hope that all is well. So I hope you have a good afternoon, good weekend. Hopefully we'll see you Sunday morning at 10 a.m. watching us live. Let's chat with each other in the comment section. And uh, go 49ers, apparently. Apparently these symptoms started when the Cowboys lost. Sorry, guys. Um, Yeah, Cowboys, that was awful. But hey, you know what? Go 49ers now and go and sin no more.